the trick to making this LLM based solution work. So the thing is, if you get a, if you take a state of the art LLM and uh, you additionally pre-train it on millions of synthetically generated uh, arc like uh, tasks, that still doesn't work very well at all. It, it will do like, I don't, I don't recall the exact numbers, it's, it's maybe on the order of 10%, right? So not very good. In fact, much worse than relatively basic discrete programs of solutions. And the trick to actually making this approach work well is active inference, which is this idea that when, uh, when you're presented with uh, one of the test tasks that you're supposed to solve, uh, so you're presented with uh, a small number of uh, input output, uh, input output uh, demonstration examples. And the idea is going to be to um, fine tune the LLM on these examples. And of course, because you only have a couple of them, that's not really enough to uh, get stochastic gradient to work. Uh, you're going to want to sort of like expand them uh, artificially uh, using uh, using a DSL that's going to just apply transformations uh, to them. Uh, so trying to make them more 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 diverse to have basically enough data points to fit a curve, uh, but still trying to make them match uh, the, the the original task. And this trick of doing uh, active inference via fine tuning is actually what unlocks uh, the performance of this approach. And I don't think this is something that I've seen uh, with uh, with LLMs before. Actually, I don't think anyone else is, is doing that. Mm. And uh, the fact that it has this uh, outsized impact on the solution, I think, is really interesting. And it it feels intuitive, you know, that LLMs are not on their own uh, the solution. Like LLMs, new things like you know Gemini or ChatGPT and so on, uh, because they're they're basically uh, uh, frozen at inference time. You know they're not actually learning anything mm -hmm. when you show them uh, a new task. But that's not how humans operate. You know obviously when when you look at a task, um, you, you you're kind of forced to adapt to it. You're not just fetching something from your memory that matches this task. I mean. If it's a task you've already seen before, then sure, maybe that's what you're doing. Uh, but the idea is that you can be exposed to these tasks that you've never seen before, and you need to make sense of them. And so you need to basically learn from them, right? You need this active inference step, which vanilla elements are not doing. And I think that's really uh, uh, one of the big uh, sort of like locks uh, on their performance, mm. especially on ARC.